Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, we're live at Midwest Techno Super Bowl tournament, and uh, looks like we have a heavyweight matchup to start with between Derek Rubel, Techno Psycho, and the Ultimate Weapon Ryan McKay. It's a Bears Raiders matchup. It's a common matchup you see running. A running matchup. Ryan's goal with Eddie Anderson on defense. Difficult play to defend. Derek throws one in there with Tom Zay. He hits it perfectly. Yeah, good to good to be here with the, the retro sports gamer Tom Stanky. Chris uh, Vaughn, how you doing? I'm hanging in there, brother. It's uh, it's good to good to be out and about and um, just playing some techno and push push life away for a little bit. Yes, <laughs> for sure. Uh, I agree. Hey, I do want to give you some uh, plugs online. Uh, appreciate you um, bringing the retro sports gamer to Midwest Techmo. Um, we look forward to watching a lot of your streams here in the future. And uh, we we're also very gracious for you to for, for, for letting us use your, your Wi-Fi hotspot. Oh, no problem. No problem, man. I just want to have a good stream today. Derek's got a great setup going for this. Um, we got people live on Twitch. We see the chat right there. What's up, Trojan? Absolutely. And we got Kills24. Thanks for showing up, guys. Appreciate it. We're going to have, we got some big time heavyweights here today. Joey Gatz is here. Tecmo Psycho has won Tecmo Madison before. You see him on the left side here. And then Ryan McKay's been hot, man. He's third at Tupa Bowl. Right. And in a free game, Tom, I was sitting there trying to trying to explain to people how hard it is to put together through play regarding a tournament that's concentrated like this one. Um, yeah. The second seed could be a one seed. Right, or, exactly. You know, it's, so it's, it's one of those things where, you know, Flo will be like, I'm a, I'm a one seed, no way. And I'm like, well, you are a one seed, but not in this tournament. Anymore. Right, yeah, exactly. Each tournament, or each group is pretty deep. Uh, you know, I, I think even your four seeds could end up with a two or two record. You know? Right, Just, right. No, you're right. It's a really talented pool today. And I think that's the way we would like it. We got David Fulcher here. Um, David Fulcher is here with his uh, foundation. Chris might be able to tell you a little bit more. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Tom, the, the the reason why we did start this tournament was to crown somebody as the best tech mower in the Cincinnati area. And then David Fulcher found out about our first tournament. I connected with him. And he said, let, let me come hang out. And it's been a tradition ever since. So it's, it's, kind, it's kind of cool to, to tell the story about how, how David Fulcher has come into, a, into Midwest Tecmo's arms. And it was, uh, it's been, been, a, been a good ride with them. We've raised um, over $6,000 in 11, was our 11th tournament. And, um, you know, he says it takes about $500, $500 per year for a family that he takes care of for Christmas. And we like to think that every year we're, we take care of one of those families. Yeah, no, that's excellent. Um, but yeah, uh, he's got his memorabilia here for those who kind of want to try and paint, paint a message picture. He's got memorabilia here, signing autographs. Um, just, just a lot of cool stuff. He's got the, the David Fulcher interception uh, sprite, the screenshot, you know, the, the cut yeah. screen of him taking a freaking interception, uh, and he's going to sign that. It's it's so cool, the, the stuff that he has. Yeah. Yeah. And you might you might see a lot of those today if you see the Bengals on street. You're right, you're right. And uh, it's cool, i, I got to announce that uh, we do have a contest. I forgot about that. Uh, the contest that, uh, you know, whoever rushes with the most yards with uh, uh, James Brooks, it's hard to do with him. And yeah. whoever throws the most passing yards with Boomer Esiason, that's, that's an okay, that's an okay, uh, an okay feat. Boomer can get really hot. Right, you're right. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a good quarterback. Yeah, exactly. They, they don't really create much separation with their 38 max speed but right now we got a great game brewing here 
Uh, second quarter, 14-14, back and forth, usually more of a defensive battle, but these guys are scoring on each possession. Derek's looking to grab a halftime lead. Looks like he got it. Derek manages the clock perfectly, punches it in right before the end of the half. And they're doing it right. They're not skipping halftime. As long as we see the paint, the panty shot, it'll be worth it. I'm not going to load for it. That's, that's fine. I'm okay with that. That way it saves space. Right, yeah, here we go. I heard Dave Murray's coming so, so, out with a new shirt, Real Men Don't Skip Halftime. <laughs> real Men Don't Skip Halftime? <laughs> I said I heard Dave Murray's coming out with a new shirt, Real Men Don't Skip Halftime. I'm joking. It'd be awesome if you did that. Yeah. <laughs> with a little awesome. bit of the stream that we've been watching, um, I guess assuming that... Um, it's been back and forth. I mean, if you see a 14, a 17, 14 game, it's probably been one possession, one possession. I mean, yeah. I, it's probably going to be one of those. Whoever stops somebody first is going to be the. Uh, is going to be the. Best. Yeah, and I bet we we see more defense in this this half. I mean, the Bears secondary is the best in the game. Uh, usually, they could pull off at least one pick, but uh, so far, Ryan's keeping it on the ground and. Uh, just punching it in, and that's what you really got to do against the Bears D, when, especially when you have poor quarterbacks. Right. Is there any form of separation that these two teams have against each other that maybe I'm, I'm looking at? I'm looking at just the Raiders. I just feel like if you get them going offensively, even the Bears defense can't stop them. Yeah, because the Bears defense overall has good speed, but they don't have that one elite speed guy to really combat Bo Jackson's. 75 max speed so as a collection they could they could shut they could stop them but I'd rather take Bo Jackson against the Bears speed on for sure yeah I agree that, yeah, that, was, that was one of the reasons why I mentioned that I would I would I would, I would, I would want to take uh, the Raiders here I don't know who did a coin flip or whatnot who, who picked two but, um, assuming that maybe Ryan McKay ended up picking the Raiders I don't know. But then again, Derek, Derek's probably going to use the Bears the way he should on offense, and we're probably going to see a uh, five-yard run here, six-yard run there, uh, and a pass on third down. Oh, he didn't get up! Yeah, he was on wow. the ground. What a turd. Threw it off his helmet. There's the first uh, <laughs> defensive stand of the game. The stand that we were looking for. Yep. And four yards to go. He's just too deep in his territory to go for it. I agree. You know? Four yards, you're going to see a lot of guys go for it on fourth and four, but not inside your own 20. Right. You got to punt it. Right. Let's see what uh, McKay can can reel off here. Nobody's coming out. <clears throat> Even if Bojack was a bad, would you really take him out? No. <laughs> right. Yeah, I guess. Even Marcus Allen, with the running backs they have on the bench, those are the two guys you're going with. McKay just stops tapping. <laughs> yeah, Tecmo Psycho is one of the better tappers here, if not the best. He'll, he'll out-tap you for sure, so you really got to utilize your, your drones. Mike Singletary with the sack for about a yard. Third and eight. Big play coming up here. The middle of that Ryan. line collapsed on him. He expected more separation from a, from a couple of the defensive drones there. Is that old dirty Tecmo over there? Is yes, Trojan? That is. Matt Diaz. He's here. I think he's in my group, but unless they change. Huge play, pick play by uh, Derek. Um, <clears throat> You know, this, do you contemplate this play right here with it being fourth and nine? You know. That, yeah, I think he's making the right decision yeah. to punt. Don't um, let us persuade him. Yeah, I think he's already selected it. Um, and we got. That was the wrong decision. <laughs> was that a fake punt? In that situation. It was a, it was a fake punt. Muff punt. The Bears, they just got in there fast. I don't know what happened there. That you're not going to see too often, but the punter got tackled before he could punt the ball. And now, Bears with a short field, powerful running game. Derek's looking good here. Looks like he, he's opting Neil Anderson. 
Jefferson and Ron, oh, Ron Morris catches a diving catch and fumbles, fumbles right away. Ryan picks it up after the big error on the punt. He gets it right back on the fumble. He said defensive game here in the second half and not single person score so far. So <laughs> yeah, the, hit it on the nose. You know, it's not going to be a, a complete offensive battle ever between these two. It's rare to see. But, yep, second half, all defense so far. Ryan's lining up with the four wide receivers. Dropping back the pass, hits on the burn round. Willie Galt with that 63 max speed. Great thread, great thread. Gets out there. You get a little room back there, you know, you don't want to you want to get pinned back too deep with the Bears defense at you. Yeah. And Schrader, he's got the passing speed. He can make those burn throws, it's just whether he's accurate or not, and that one he was. Here he scrambles for some yards, adding to their rushing total for the day. You know, Schrader's not going to lead the Raiders in rushing ever, but uh, he can definitely contribute. Here we go, offset. I hear Burline's now in the game. He scrambles for a first down. Everyone's getting in on the rushing action on the Raiders. He, he, he may lead the, the team to run. <laughs> Run up the middle. Marcus Allen gets kind of caught up on the line. Loses the yard. Caught up in the back. If you ask me, this might be Ryan McKay's drive. This has got to be his drive. Yeah. 426 Tecmo time. Probably won't get a nice long drive again. Unless there's some kind of turnovers. Here we go four wide. We got a guy coming in hard. Ryan just picks up four yards, sets up a pretty manageable third down. I, I, I think that's a really good play. I think you're able to use all, all eight of your plays at, at this point if you're looking at a third and six, because you're going to go for it at this point. Yeah. I think, I think you're going to go for it. I think, I think you will. Yeah, I, we'll finish this game up and I'll play. All right, Berline with the toss out to Marcus Allen, the carrier. Weaves through fourth and two. And again, that play, that run play, is definitely an opportunity for him to go for it on fourth and two. Yep. Yeah. It's a good play. It's one that he could have easily picked up the six yards, but he makes this a very, very manageable fourth down. You just don't want to get your play guessed here. That's really the biggest thing on fourth and shorts. It's not guess. He has to throw it up. Oh! Oh my! Fernandez gets it. Burline on target with the diving catch. It looked like Derek was maybe trying to prevent that jump off pass. But do you really look at that jump off pass as being a? Yeah, you know what? I think I think Derek made the right decision with the poor quarterbacks of the Raiders. Sometimes they'll just straight up miss that throw. He's got to yeah. He's just got to guard the the, the the fourth and short. And they were all good though. And the, and the good thing about that score, it puts Ryan up, but Derek's got a ton of time. He gets a nice fresh drive, and he just chucks him off with Brad Muster. He's carving up the field. This is a huge return. Yep. That's what Derek. Ah! Ah! Somebody did something great. Woo! You're going to see a lot of close games here. For sure. Ones that are maybe slight upsets. They're just going to happen. It just goes along with the, the separation from seed one to seed four. There really isn't much room there. No. I was looking at my oh! guy yes! played great, yes! Kevin Moldar at, at Tupel right. right. and I'm like, who's a four seed of yeah, and I have no I well, and that's, the, that's the funny thing is some of these players I don't I don't know their knowledge and that that's what's tricky about placing the seeds in uh in, in Midwest is I've never seen Kevin Moldar play. Yeah. Tom Zach pitches off to Anderson. Anderson running. Great run by Derek. He's got moves for days. Shakes off the man, but the drones are there. Minute 44. 
these bears might fumble too, so you gotta be aware of that. I would, I would play the safe game and get down low. Bears in the driver's seat. Now with Neil Anderson at running back, he is looking fierce. Without that dive tackle, I think I think you're looking at a touchdown. Yeah, that was a good dive tackle. That could be a decider. Sometimes when you really don't have anything left, you have to attempt that. But Ryan does it successfully. Another pitch out, not called, gonna be tough. And wow, Tecmo Cycles got some moves on that play. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that once you're thinking on that fourth and two that McKay had, that he converted for that touchdown, I think Derek understood that he did have a good time for himself and utilized yeah. a good drive on this. Yeah, it, it, was, it was a very calculated play. Right. Minute 08, there is some time, maybe one or two heaves down the field. But really, what you're looking at, Ryan doesn't need to score a touchdown. He just needs to get a field goal. Right? So... You know, you, you can't you even eliminate the run. Here. You may yeah, see yeah. three plays here. A Bo Jackson run. He's so fast, he doesn't. He won't chew up that much clock. But he's got to get about four. Damn it! And Bo Jackson breaks one off. And we. And Ryan has to go out of bounds. And just like I said, you can't. Rule out the run against the Raiders, even. You're going to send this into overtime, wouldn't you, Tom? Oh, definitely. I think that's why he went out of bounds. The Raiders don't have a good enough passing game to really you throw one with confidence. Big kick. It looks straight. And we're going to overtime. And the first game between the ultimate weapon and Techno Psycho. Tecmo Psycho, hey. the guy you see on the right in the black shirt, is the Chicago Bears. I think, Tom, I think this game is just a, it's just a, a, testament, a testament of what this tournament's probably going to be, the yeah. first stream game. Yeah, when we were playing on the way up here yesterday, I had four overtime games. Even the championship one we had in the in the car against Flo, it was overtime as well. I mean, I'm telling you, man. Here we go. Derek gets the ball. Thanks, Bears Tecmo 22, for joining the stream. We appreciate it. Anderson weaving around. And ever, you know, Tecmo Psycho putting uh, Neil Anderson at running back has been a Huge game changer in this fourth quarter in overtime. He's just been unstoppable with them. I, I think I think that I think that goes to show that I think Derek had a uh, mindset in regards that he's just going to pound and pound and pound. He was doing some passing early on and with some success, but I think once he uh, threw that one off the guy that fell down and didn't get up, that was enough. Yeah, there it is. Somebody saying that. So now he just needs to get some yards. You might. I think you always still try to score a touchdown before oh, kicking sure. a field goal. Sure. So, but I mean, he'll, the game's in his hands now, basically. You're right. Well, in Tecmo, I had a hard time trusting my field goal game, and right. I think that's, I think the field goal is hard is one of the hardest things to, to conquer. And the Raiders. Oh, I thought he was out of bounds, but he was straddling the sideline like a tightrope. 24-24, 2 minutes 50 seconds left. And a toss right. Anderson, for a loss, but you got to go out of bounds there. You don't want to risk a fumble on a called play. So that was a smart play by Derek. Tom Zach gets a guy open. There we go. Beautiful throw. Tech Great game. Psycho, Derek so Google gets the win with the Bears in overtime against the ultimate weapon. And you could expect more close games like that today on the Midwest Tecmo stream on Twitch here. Good call. We we're uh, happy to see All this right. first game. Appreciate it, Tom. We'll get we'll another game back. going. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll get some more commentators and uh, 
Get another good game on the stream for you.